guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Emmalyn Love I am a fashion and lifestyle blogger and here on my channel I do styling videos try on hauls we love to look good on this channel and we don't like to spend a lot of money <laughs> so if you're like us this is definitely the channel for you you should go ahead and subscribe I'm excited because I have a great video for you guys today we're just hanging out in my bedroom I'm trying to change up the scenery with my videos so we're just gonna be here I didn't even make up my bed today it is a mess so bear with me in today's video we're gonna be doing a Walmart winter essential hauls um, I pick up some great pieces from Walmart that I want to share with you guys I am also gonna be giving you guys little tips and tricks on how to look expensive it's the new year we want to look rich we want to look bougie but we don't want to spend a lot of money and I feel like I have mastered the art of looking expensive without spending a lot of money if I may say so myself <laughs> so today's video I'll give you guys some tips on how to look expensive I'll show you the items that I pick up from Walmart I'll style them and pop it here on the screen for you guys I'm excited um get yourself a cup of tea get coffee get wine get whatever you're into let's sit back relax chill talk fashion all right if you're not following me on Instagram you should definitely go ahead and follow me on there because I post daily outfit in full um, I do try on hauls on there and I'm pretty active so follow me on there if you're not before we jump into the video Let me show you guys my outfit I have on this gorgeous um, no boundary pattern uh, Mock neck sweater that I pick up in store. I went grocery shopping the other day and I came across this sweater I just had to get it. I think it's just it is just the cutest little thing I believe this was in the junior section. I got it in a size small and it fits amazing. I love the color I love the pattern on there it's very very soft extremely great quality for the sweater price that I can wear with a lot of bottoms in my closet I can do this with black jeans brown jeans um, blue jeans and then on the bottom I have on this high-waisted um, mini full leather skirt that I also pick up from Walmart while grocery shopping <laughs> every time I go grocery shopping in Walmart I end up buying something um, from the clothes department it's a mess but I pick up this cute uh, little mini skirt. It has buttons that go all the way down. I got this in a size small, but the waist is a bit big on me. I didn't see a size extra small in the store. I don't know if they even carry it in a size extra small, but um, I just have the waist taken in and it fits great. I love the snap button closure. It is pretty short, so if you're tall, probably not the best mini skirt for you, but if you're short, you can get away with it. And you can also put um leggings underneath. You could wear tights underneath, or you could do you could wear a pair of um leggings underneath or a pair of tights. I'm trying to figure out the proper name for it. You know the ones that go to your foot and all the way. <laughs> what are those called? I can't think, but you guys know what I mean. You could wear leggings underneath and you could do a pair of over the knee boots. I like mini skirts um in the winter because I get tired of wearing jeans and I'm not a huge fan of dresses so this is just a great way to kind of change it up with the jeans and the leggings so yeah this is my outfit that we got in my outfit out of the way let's talk about tips and tricks on looking expensive or I should say tips and tricks on how to elevate your wardrobe so a lot of us don't want to spend a lot of money if you subscribe to my channel is because you don't like to spend a lot of money like myself tip when it comes to looking good looking expensive looking put together is hair and makeup always want to make sure your hair looks neat looks put together if you're wearing weave if you're doing your natural hair um, if you're doing a wig it doesn't matter what you have on your head just make sure your hair look nicely put together um, for you guys who've been subscribed to my channel for a while you know over the summer I wear my natural hair short and then during the winter when it starts to get cold I change it up I do weave I do wigs um, I currently have in a sewing but I always keep my hair nice and neat I hold it up in ponytails for days where I don't want it all in my face and um, sometimes I wear it down I usually don't wear my hair straight I just wear it wavy always you know take good care of your hair if you have braids make sure your hair looks neat brush your hair if you wear wigs please make sure your lace does not look um, really bad because one of the things that just throw people off about wigs and wigs especially wigs and lace wig make sure your lace blend in well with your scalp or with at least with your skin tone and make sure that it looks presentable when it comes to wearing wigs I just hate when I see people with like weave and wigs on and they just look so terrible so don't do that make sure it blend in nicely put a little bit of your foundation on it or whatever you need to do so the wig doesn't look too wiggish or it doesn't look so bad 
my next tip is just keeping your makeup very neutral i tend to go for more of a neutral natural look with my makeup but when i do youtube video i do um longer lashes and maybe a little pop of lip just because i'm on camera and you know <laughs> That's that on camera glam, but you know keep your makeup very natural so unless you're going somewhere and you need to glam up uh, You don't need to be doing yellow eyeshadow green eyeshadow purple But if that's your thing, you know go ahead and do it. I'm not a fashion expert I'm just giving you my two cents and I also keep my lip very neutral as well because it just look um clean You just look more elegant and you look put together um, That was hair and makeup and then my second tip would be you know Always keep your nails done. You don't have to go to the nail salon. My girlfriend Vivian, her nails always looks impeccable and she used press on nails. That's something you could get from the hair store, the beauty supply or wherever you shop. I like to go get my nails done at the nail salon. It's just my way of treating myself. I get a manicure and a pedicure regularly and I enjoy doing it, but you don't have to go to the nail salon. You can get just nails sure you are nice and neat, are far down and they're clean. Um, you don't even have to wear a nail polish. Just, you know, keep your nails intact. That's one of my biggest things. When my nails look bad, it's like, oh my God, who am I? <laughs> I always like to have um, a fresh manicure. So those are my first two tips. Let me go ahead and show you guys the next item that I picked up from Walmart. And then I will give more tips as we go along. If you guys enjoyed this kind of video, let me know. It's my first time trying it out. Um, if you like it and then we'll do more like that. I was shopping at Walmart um, for groceries. I saw this cute uh, Black bag black and brown bag and I like this a lot. It was not expensive at all um, It's a really good price point and I like the color This is what it looks like and then they have a flap you can open it. It does come with another scrap um, Another handle that you can hold but this is such a great bag and it goes with a lot of things that are in my wardrobe and it's so affordable but the quality is amazing so when it comes to wanting to look put together you want to keep your um, accessory even though they're affordable and you buy it from like um, grocery stores or I don't even know what Walmart is considered you want to make sure that they are a decent color and it's not too shiny um, and it doesn't look cheap for this bag. It does not look cheap at all I think because it is like a matte type of fabric. I don't know how to describe this but It's very pretty. I can wear this as a clutch without the handle just wear it under my arm like this or I can um, Wear it on my neck like this. I do like this bag a lot. The quality is pretty good And I like the gold hardware and I like that it's black and brown because I can do it with my all black outfit, I can do it with my brown outfit, I can dress it up and I can dress it down. So it's definitely a great um, little bag to have. And I'm not a huge fan of big bags, so this is absolutely perfect. That's the only accessory that I picked up from Walmart, but the lip color that I am wearing, I also picked up from Walmart and it is by Maybelline. This is the only color I wear on my lip when I want a little bit of color. A lot of the time I just do a new lip liner. I will link my makeup below, but this is Maybelline MAC matte ink um, and I have it in the color mover and voyage so I will link these two in the description for you guys to go ahead and check it out sometimes I mix them and sometimes I wear them um, by themselves depending on how I'm feeling they are pretty affordable and I like the color ranges so I will have that in the description and this stay on for a really long time I am wearing um, I think I'm wearing Voyager today and for foundation because I have acne prone skin and my face tend to break out a lot But I also like for my foundation to look very neutral. I don't like um, To look cakey and I like for it to blend with my skin for my skin tone. So I use the Clinique even better even better clinical um, Foundation this is what it looks like This is the bottle it comes in a glass bottle I like Clinique foundation because they don't clog your pores and I like the finish of this one when I wear it it looks um, It looks like my skin too. So I my skin tone. So I like this a lot My color in this is WN 120 pecan. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> that is my color and this is what I wear another foundation that I really like and feel that is very natural on the skin is the Fenty Fenty Beauty Fenty Beauty, I think I'm saying that right. The Fenty Beauty Foundation. I love that foundation. My only issue with it is that it's very light coverage, so it doesn't cover a lot of my acne scar. When I wear it, I can see like spots peeking through. So 
um, the reason I don't like it but if you have really great skin definitely check out the Fenty Beauty foundation and another great foundation is um, Dior the Dior foundation that I have is amazing when you put it on your skin it just like blend in so well and it looks great on camera but I can seem to find the right undertone for me I've talked enough about beauty let's go ahead and jump into the next item that I got from Walmart so on the line of basics, pick up this black sweater from Walmart. I like this sweater a lot because I like the fact that it has this cut here on the side. I tend to tuck a lot of my sweater into like my jeans and my skirt, whatever I'm wearing it with. So just having that little cut over here makes it very easy for you to tuck this part in and let the back hang out. I got this in a size extra small and this is by Time and True. I love Walmart black sweaters. I have a few um, that I've carried through many winters. They are very soft, they're super affordable, and it looks amazing. I like the length of this because I can wear it with my leggings and then I can also wear it with jeans. I love a good black sweater because it is the base to every winter outfit. You can wear it a hundred million times and nobody would know because it's black. You could dress it up, you could dress it down, and this feels amazing and I like the length of this. I like the fact that it's not a turtleneck but it does come up high like this one. Um, so I don't have to wear a scarf and I don't have to worry about my neck being cold. You could style this with a pair of black jeans. You could style it with this black um, full leather skirt that I am wearing. And then I also have a full leather uh, pants from Walmart that you can style this way. This is a great essential. I also have another black sweater from Walmart. That one is a bit shorter. I think it comes like here. And then they have a round neck. I love that one as well. I wear it with my jeans. My only issue with that is it's not long enough for you to wear with leggings. It's a great winter essential to have in your wardrobe. So um, if you don't have a black sweater like this, you should definitely go ahead and grab this. And it's affordable. All black monochrome look is a great way to look expensive. Never go wrong with an all black look. You do an all black look, maybe like a nice uh, statement bag and a nice statement coat, you're good to go. I have an orange coat that I love. If you say my coat video, then you've seen that. I had I actually had on a black Walmart Walmart sweater and a pair of jeans from Express. And I just threw that coat on top and it instantly elevated that look. So once you have a black canvas, you could can do a lot of different things with it. So I like this sweater a lot. I am styling it here with that um, with a pair of black jeans that I pick up from Walmart. I love that jeans. I'll go ahead and show that to you guys if I can find it. I like the black button and it's such a great fitting pair of jeans super affordable and a great winter essential to have in your wardrobe so um i have the link to that jeans in the description as well for you guys to go ahead and check the item that i picked up from walmart is this gorgeous cardigan i got this cardigan in a size small this comes in a ton of color i believe it comes in like brown comes in gray but i like the black and white one because like i said black just tend to look more expensive and it's versatile you can wear it with a lot more um, it does come with a detachable belt so you can use the belt or you cannot use the belt you can tie it and the waist to kind of cinch it in which I like a lot this cardigan is such an amazing quality and I love it because it's so soft as a dress in the winter <laughs> when you're going out and you want to dress it up you could do this with like a pair of over the knee boots you can add your own belt or you can use the belt that it comes with or you can do like a jeans, a bodysuit, and then you could throw it on top. A great cardigan, you could throw it over your everyday outfit. If you just needed a layering piece, you could wear it by itself as a dress, like I said, with a pair of over-the-knee boots. Or you could do a tank top and a t-shirt. Really versatile and a great essential to have in your closet. You can also wear it as a jacket on days where it's not too, too cold. You could just throw it on and run out of the house. So another tip that I have for you guys on elevating your look, looking expensive, looking rich in 2022 is being very minimum with your jewelry. For those of you guys who follow me over on IG or been watching my YouTube video for a while now, you know that I keep my jewelry very minimum. Um, I don't like for my jewelry to be overpowering. Sometimes when the accessory is too flashy, it just kind of chipping. Is that in a word? <laughs> it kind of make your outfit looks cheap. So um, I always have on like a little dancy bracelet. I love rings, so I always have some type of ring on my finger. And then I always wear a stud and sometimes I'll have on a little necklace. But I know a lot of people like to do statement earrings and um, statement necklaces. My only advice with that is if you're gonna do a nice statement earring, which I sometimes do in the summertime when I have my short hair, 
I try not to do a statement necklace because if you do a statement necklace and a statement earring, they kind of clash. Or if you have like a statement necklace and a statement bracelet, it like I don't know where to look when I look look at your outfit. So it becomes a bit much. So if you're gonna do a nice necklace, um, don't do like a statement earring. If you're gonna do a statement earring, don't do a statement necklace. But I just prefer like little dainty accessories. I like my studs. I like my little layer necklaces, and I like my tiny bracelets. So um, I think that's a great uh, tip on looking elevated, looking expensive. In terms of doing one or the other, I also say when you're getting dressed, let one item be your statement piece of your entire outfit. So with this outfit, I think the statement piece is this sweater that I'm wearing. So I'm keeping everything else very neutral, the skirt, the boots or the shoes that I'm wearing and my bag. I'm not gonna wear like a statement sweater with prints or pattern and then have like a statement bag and then have a statement boots because then the outfit is too busy. So you just wanna have one statement piece. So if your skirt is your statement piece, keep the rest of the outfit neutral. If the boots is the statement pre piece, keep the rest of the outfit, not really neutral, but like a solid. If I had a printed skirt, I wouldn't do like a printed top. You could do it sometimes, but there's a little trick to it. And um, the easier way to go, if you're starting out, just try to keep it um, back. And dress, just decide like what's gonna be my statement piece. If my coat is my statement piece, my outfit is very toned down. If my outfit is a statement outfit, my coat is very toned down. So do keep that in mind as a little tip. I've actually showed you guys this dress in red um i think in december but i went into the store and i saw that they have it in black and i wore the red one on christmas day and i like it a lot it's this gorgeous off sleeve dress true definition of an all you can eat dress you guys who've been subscribed to my channel i talk about all you can eat dresses on here and it's just um it's just a dress that you can wear and you don't have to worry about sucking in you don't have to worry about anything your stomach is free and you can eat all the food in the world so i like this a lot uh, a big plus on this dress is the fact that it have pockets. I love the fact that it have pockets. It's free. It's easy to get into. I like the length. I love the sleeves. You can wear this in the winter now with a pair of over the knee boots. In the spring, you can wear it with sandals. In the summer, you can wear it with sandals. You could do so much with this dress. It's so easy. You can belt it and you could do it without the belt. So definitely a great dress and i like it because it's versatile it's something that you could dress up or you could dress down you can wear this to go to work you can wear it with a pair of leggings and go to church you can wear it to go to a party a piece to have in your closet is a basic black dress that can be worn to almost any event all right before we move on to the next item um i have another tip for you guys my next tip is try to buy a lot of neutral items especially for your basic pieces like sweaters jeans tank tops um try to get a lot of neutral like brown black because I wear that a lot i know everybody is pushing neutral out of hearing about neutral but the reason people say get a lot of neutral is just because you can get a lot more wear out of it i could wear that black sweater and a black pair of jeans like five days straight five day in a row straight and nobody will notice i just changed my jacket put on a different jacket so neutrals are easy to pair with other things in your closet and get more wear out of it so definitely keep that in mind when you're shopping make sure you have a lot of your basic pieces should be neutrals and then you get little statement pieces here and there so that's another tip and get your clothes taken in a lot of the time people will write me on ig and say oh i love this coat you're wearing but i read the reviews is too it, it fits too big it's not petite girl friendly Get the clothes taken in. If you buy something and it does not fit you exactly the way you want to, you want it to fit you, take it to the tailor and get it taken in. I am short. I am small. <laughs> the people are not making clothes to fit my exact body type. And even if you're bigger than me, they're not making clothes to fit your exact body type. They have a standard measurement that they use to make clothes. So go ahead. If you love it, buy it. Get it taken in and get it to fit you the right way you need it to fit. As a petite woman, you want your clothes to hit you at a certain angle or at a certain point, I should say. Um, if it doesn't hit correctly, you will kind of drown in it and you will look odd. As you guys notice, I always have my sleeve roll up. Because I have short arms, if I wear my clothes like this, if my sweater is too long, then it's going to make me look shorter. But when I pull it up and show a little bit of skin, it kind of elongates my arm. Same with a skirt. If I have a skirt that hits me right above my knee, 
I'm gonna look too short because my legs are not that long. So my skirt always come a bit higher up my knee. So a lot of the time it looks like my skirts are really short, but that's only because I'm short. <laughs> and a lot of people say I photograph, um, when I tell them my height, they say I photograph taller than I actually look. And that's because I have learned how to dress my body to look uh, taller. So whatever your body type is, figure it out and then figure out how to dress your body so you look your best. The next item I pick up from Walmart is this um, cardigan, the short cardigan with like full, uh, what is this called? Shepherd inside. I like this a lot because it's so easy, it's extremely comfortable and it have pockets. So I got this in a size small and it's so warm. I like this. This is something that you could just throw over your jeans and your t-shirt when you, you want to run out on days where it's not really cold and you don't want to wear a jacket. I am a bus stop mom. I put together my bus stop outfit and this is something that I will wear. I will just wake up in the morning, throw on a pair of black jeans or a pair of leggings and throw it on and I'm good to go. And I like that it wraps around like this so I don't have to wear a scarf. Um, it's very heavy. Great little cardigan to have. And this is super versatile too. You could dress this up and you could dress it down. You could wear this with tights and sneakers. You could do this with, with jeans and the boots. Uh, you can basically do it with whatever you have in your Great closet. Great versatile piece and I like the waterfall. Um, I don't know what that is called, the way it falls. And it's extremely soft. If you want it to be more of like an oversized fit than size up, I picked this up in a small, but I probably could have gone for a medium if I wanted more of a looser look. It is a bit short, so if you wear it with um, tights, it's not going to cover your butt. But if you size up and get it bigger, it would definitely cover that. But I like it a lot. I think it's so cute and it's very warm. I know I've shown you guys a lot of black, but I do have brown that's coming. <laughs> I picked this two-piece set up from Walmart. This is just like a casual everyday lounge wear. This is one of my stop outfit or for days where I don't feel like getting dressed. The fabric on this is so soft. This is by Free Assembly and I got this in a size extra small. I love like this brown color. This is what the bottom looks like. It have elastic in the waist. It fits amazing. It have a lot of stretch to it. And then it also comes with like a matching hoodie. And this is the hoodie. My only issue with this is the hoodie does not have a pocket. Um, the sweatshirt does not have a pocket and the pants doesn't have a pocket. Like where am I supposed to put my hands? I need pocket. I like this a lot because the fabric is very soft. It have a lot of stretch to it. Um, and it's a great basic to have in your winter wardrobe for days where you don't want to dress up. Days where you feel like doing much but you still want to look put together. I can wear this with my pair of Uggs when I want to run out. I can wear it with sneakers when I want to run out. And when I want to look really cute, I can dress this up with like um, like my, my teddy coat, throw on my bag, and I am good to go. Definitely a great essential to have and it's a great color too. I love, you guys know I love brown. Um, you could do a lot with it. It does have pocket like this, but this is for design purposes. That's not a functional pocket, but the drawstring is functional. So you can lounge around at home in this and you can also wear it to go out. So can't go wrong with this. And this is the hoodie. I don't really care for the hoodie, but it comes with a hoodie. So that's that. Hey guys, those are all of my Walmart items that I have. I hope you guys enjoy watching the video. I hope you enjoy my tips. If you like videos like this, let me know and I will work on more. Um, and let me know the kind of videos you guys would like to see from me. I hope you enjoy my little Walmart try on haul and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.